it's kind of a frat life out there. But if but but if you you don't have to be in a frat to be relevant. I I had one of my friends. I was in a frat for like two years, then I dropped because it was just too much. It was, it was just, I couldn't do the party life every night. I could chill. Like I can't do party party every night. I can go to the club. I can do whatever. But I need a night or two chill. In the frat life, you're sending it 24 seven. I like to have a little balance. Yeah, yeah, you know what time it is. It's a milkman. And you already know over here at Milkman TV, man, we don't discriminate. Whether you're a freshman, soft, senior, or graduate of West Virginia University, this is your chance to be heard. What are some of the pros and cons of WVU? Look, college is a very important step and can be costly. If you don't know what you're getting into, so up next, we got a special guest who's going to share their unfiltered experience to help you shape yours. Let's go. Okay, I was, I'm studying business. I'll leave my name as Robert Jones. And I am in my sophomore year, going into my sophomore year. And what, what college is this? WVU. WVU. West Virginia University. Okay, perfect. So, look, on a scale of 0 to 100, how would you rate WVU? Zero being avoided at all costs. A hundred being you'd give your right kidney to re-enroll again. Okay, okay, but there's a lot of things to base that on. There's like there's the partying aspect, there's the school aspect. Overall. Overall. I'd say I'd say all right, so I'm gonna break it down to a fifty fifty, right? So for 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 the schooling, I'll give it a a 35 to 40, right? Right? So it's, it's, it's mid, right? But the parties, they be up there. They they at least like they got 40, 45 minimal. And I actually actually I'll bring down the 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 school side of things to probably like a a 20 to 30 type shit. 20, okay. So 20 to 30 for schooling, 45 for the parties. Yeah, it's it, it's a nice party school. Okay. You'll meet a lot of new people that are around there, like say you from, I'm from New York. So when I went there, it was a very, very big change. And a lot of new people, I come from a small town. So, well, here's my question. If it's a real nice party school, why'd you give it a failing grade? Cause like under 50 is like failing. No, 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 but I said 50, 50. So, so 45 plus. Oh, okay. Plus, okay. 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 I got you. So that's about 45 plus 35. That's about 80. No, 30, yeah, yeah, 80, yeah. 80. Okay. All right. So, how is your business program so far? Like, do you like it? Do you not like it? I mean, honestly, it's it's more about the degree. It's like it's it's teaching me little things about yeah how to how to how to move like uh, a home or something or how to get into drop 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 shading or I'm fucked up right now. Drop shipping. <laughs> drop shipping. Yeah. Okay. 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 But but mo I I'd say most of my revenue right now comes from either busting my ass in the summer or taking taking what they teach me and looking it up and just like like trying to do more with it like like the drop shipping aspect i go on tiktok all day type shit youtube try to find a little bit i i dibble and dabble in stocks but okay i just i just feel like it's the degree and that's what's that's that's what society requires okay okay so now let me ask you a question. On a scale of one to ten, one being very easy, ten being very difficult. How hard or how easy is your program? I'd say about a seven, seven point five. So it's it's a bit difficult. It, it, all right, maybe we're on different scales here. Uh, so I'd say probably. So probably, ten, ten is difficult. One is easy. I'd say probably a six. Six. Okay. Now on a so wait hold on let me ask you a question what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Yeah, I probably get a uh, what is it called the the chicken alfredo. Chicken alfredo. Okay, so on a scale of one to ten, one being bad, ten being very good. Uh, hold on, I gotta stop you here. This is this is a psychology test or what? No, 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 no. This is a test about not a test. Sorry. It's you rating the school. So let's say, for example, 
you were going to go to WVU and you're uh -huh. uh, you're in you're in um, high school. I'm doing this for my YouTube so that when people look up WVU, they'll be able to see what other people thought about it. Yeah. So, so you see, hmm? see, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, keep talking. Okay. So you see what I'm saying? So that the yeah. reason, the reason why I'm asking you what your favorite food is, is because someone who likes the same type of food that you do may understand how the food is there. All right. So, okay. So yeah, you said chicken Alfredo. So yeah. on, on a scale of one to 10. So again, one being very bad, 10 being very good. How would you rate the food on campus or around campus at WVU? Around campus? Or on campus. Around campus is good. On campus, I mean, it's 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 what you're going to get at any any other school. It's 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 it's, it's nothing above average. Okay. But, they... but around campus, there's a couple good spots you can get some, you can get some stuff at. Like, if you go to the Italian spot, you can get some nice chicken Alfredo, you know? But if you go to a fucking... In school cafeteria, not cafeteria, fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You're not gonna get the chicken Alfredo you want. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like the um, they have the the not the cafeteria, but it's like the food court, I guess. Food court, food court type shit with the chick laying and all that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, are you introvert or extroverted? I I say I'm an extrovert, but I I do like my alone time. Okay. So on a scale of one to ten, how easy is it to find friends? One being hard, ten being easy. At I mean, w. It, it, if you, if you're confident and you're walking up to people and you're and you're just hey, I'm new here. I'm trying to make a trying to make connections, trying to get to know some people. Some will shut you down, like any other place, any other place. They'll just go fuck yourself type shit, type energy, but. Other people be like, yo, uh, yeah, uh, me and my boys are kicking at the dorm from across the hall. You can pull up later, maybe, if you, whatever. And then some will be like, yo, whatever, we're, we're going to get lunch. We're going to get, uh, we're going, right after one of the hit the bars, day drinking. It, it's just, it's, it's, I feel like it's like anywhere else. But obviously, the Southern hospitality is, is there. Okay, so you you as a new person have to at least get out of your shell to make yourself, you know, noticeable or available. I mean, I I mean, I feel like if you sit in your dorm and you're just just talking to your neighbors, you're not really making any social connections. So you got to get out there and you, you got to put yourself out there. Now, are there any like events or anything that they put on that kind of helps that, like maybe like a dance or or any like I mean, pub nights? I mean, it's it's kind of it's kind of a frat life out there, but if but. But if you – you don't have to be in a frat to be relevant. I, I had one of my friends – I was in a frat for like two years, then I dropped because it was just too much. It was, it was just, I couldn't do the party life every night. I could chill – like I can't do party party every night. I can go to the club. I can do whatever. But I need a night or two to chill. In the frat life, you fucking – you're sending it 24-7. I like to have a little balance. One of my boys, he's, he's still in the frat, and – he has no. He has basically no free time because he's with the brothers all the time. You know, like, I don't know. Keep keep it real though. Did you get kicked out? No, I did not get kidnapped. Oh no, no, kicked out, not kidnapped. Kicked out. No, I didn't. Okay, did okay, 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 okay. No, I passed. I passed. Fucking hell, we call that. That shit was. <laughs> okay, so we're almost done. Just a few more. So, on a scale of one to ten, because you said you're from New York, right? Uh huh. A small town. So on a scale of one to ten, one being uh, difficult, ten being easy. How easy is it to find living accommodations there at on the campus or around? What do you mean by linear accommodation? Living. So like, is it easy? Oh, to living, get, yeah, living, living, living. Okay, so I, first year I was in the dorm. Second year, uh, I knew a couple people because uh, I tried to get my social connections right, go and party and whatever. So I have a, now this year I have a, a, a apartment with four of my boys. I'm paying like six hundred six hundred a month, I think. Okay, so so knowing people makes a difference. I I mean you got you got to know people to get off campus, you know. Oh, I mean, okay. unless you're unless you're unless you're going on one of the apps and just get a random roommate, which I mean you're not gonna socialize with that roommate if the, if you know what I mean. You gotta know people to surround your, surround yourself with people who are like you and make you grow and and if they don't make you grow then you gotta find something different, you know?
perfect. That's a that's a good answer. Okay, so tell me, what's the most stressful situation you've experienced at WVU? Managing the frat life with the school life. Now, what is the what what time of year is very stressful for trying to do both of those things? Uh, fuck. Probably, probably finals. Oh, geez. Fucking. So is that like in April, May for you guys? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, something like that. Okay. Uh, okay. I ain't been there. No, I've been drinking for fucking all summer, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so last question. So what's one piece of advice that you would give either a future student going to the school or, or maybe like your past self before you enrolled? I would say find the right first roommate. I would say I would I would say find someone who you can connect with, and like in any school, I feel like this is the thing because a lot of my friends struggle with the same thing. They found roommates who, um, on paper, like they're looking them up and and looking their Instagrams up, and they're all chill. Like yeah, they smoke with them, they do the same thing, drink, party, but they also like chill in like me. But I I, I thankfully all praise the most high. Found, found myself a roommate who literally is the uh, same dude as me. I treat him like a brother. Like, and he's one of the people moving in. We found me and him found the other two kids from, I think, like fucking six rooms down, and we're moving into an apartment. So it's like you just gotta. My advice would be: don't look up, look up your roommate online, and stick to your first option. I, I feel like you have to you have to talk to a couple people and, and figure it out. So there you have it. Some pros and cons of West Virginia University. Was there something we missed that you feel should have been said? If so, leave your comments below because you never know who you'll wind up helping. Anyways, you know it's a milkman, baby, and I'm about to dip like an Olympic diving team. But in the meantime and in between time, smash that like, tap that sub, because I'm off this easy fam. <laughs>